Let's put a floor tom into the equation. All right, so now we have a floor tom. Uh, some drum sets might have another tom that goes here, and feel free to throw that up. Same process applies, just get it comfortable. I like a simple four-piece kit. So uh, let's put this floor tom in. A floor tom tends to be larger. This is 16 inches, some are 14, some are 18. Uh, and I like the ones that come with legs, and you're probably gonna see that most commonly on your drum set. Some have mounting hardware like this, but I like the relation have it so it has a relationship with the ground. And there's usually three legs, and they just slide in. So now, get those to a height and again an angle that's comfortable. Moving the drum around and you know, that looks pretty good. All right. This feels like something I can play. Now, we're missing some essential elements, so let's talk a little bit about cymbal stands and get those cymbals on. All right, so we have a couple cymbal stands up now. When you're buying the hardware, which is usually when we say hardware, we're talking about pedals, Cymbal stands, hi-hat stand, you know, not the drums or cymbals themselves, uh, but the uh, accessories that either help mount them, hold them, position them, etc. So we have a couple small cymbal stands, and they come in lots of different types. So these ones have flat bases, as you can see here. They call them flat base stands, and they're single braced. If you were to see two pieces of metal coming off, they'd be double braced. And these are real old school specialty stands, and the reason I like them is they're so light. You know, I can use them when I'm playing a lot around town and not hurt my back. And we have straight stands and boom stands. This one's actually a combination one where I can do both. Right now, if you were to see this, how this just goes straight up, we'd call this a straight position or a straight cymbal stand. So if you only need this, that's the type of cymbal stand you're looking for. Now, if you notice on this one, we're seeing this boom arm here. It allows you to put the cymbal, reach it out, get it in an angle that the, and also get it into a location that a straight stand wouldn't be able to reach. So if you need that option, make sure you have a boom stand. Uh, since we're probably right now looking at most of you guys is just getting going on the kit, I'd maybe try to have one good boom stand. And uh, it might be good to start with a set of really strong single brace hardware or maybe some double brace cymbal stands. So that way if, you, if you're playing loud music and since your drum set will probably be at your, at your home or practice space uh, first and foremost, that it's sitting solid and you're not knocking anything over. So we got a couple cymbal stands. Before we even put the cymbals up, we got to add one more essential piece of hardware. That's the hi-hat stand. All right, now we got the hi-hat stand up. Again, this is a flat base one, but uh, they come in double braced, you know, real heavy duty models, you know, pretty much uh, every weight you can think of. And uh, these days, everything's built so good that uh, really single brace doesn't mean that it's less of quality. It just means it's a little bit lighter. So if you're a heavy player, double brace would be good. If you're a jazz player, this flat base, uh, you know, flat base single braced hardware is really good. Now, on the anatomy, the parts of the hi-hat stand, we have a couple of things. We have a pedal here. Notice we have two pedals. And I like to play my kick drum here on my right foot for right-handed, right-footed players. This is kind of your basic setup. And then my hi-hat's here on my left foot. So, we got a pedal, and the rod moves up and down. We use this clutch here to secure the hi-hats into place. So, let's throw some hi-hats on. Uh, hi-hats are two cymbals. So we gotta decide which one goes on bottom, which one goes on top. First thing you should do is see if there's a label. These ones say bottom and top, so I know which uh, direction I'm going. But if you do happen to have cymbals that don't have labels on them, the rule of thumb is the bottom hi-hat is usually a little bit thicker than the top one. So you can use that to kind of figure out which symbol needs to go where. So I'm gonna take the bottom one and just slide it over the rod and it's seated here on this cushion. And then I'm gonna place the top one here 
into the clutch. So I'm gonna unscrew it, and there's two pieces of felt. I'm gonna remove it, and kind of sandwich it in here like this. The felt protects the symbol and also muffles it a little bit. So make sure you always have this felt. Screwing it back on here. And again, I don't want to over tighten things. You know, these are musical instruments. They have to vibrate and they have to breathe. So once it's on there and secure, I can fine tune the tension right here. So I'm going to slide this on top. All right, get a little bit of positioning stuff. I'll loosen up and raise it up a little bit. And also, if you see these things, these are memory locks. And uh, if they're available on uh, your stands, uh, once you find a, a good spot that you're comfortable, you know, you might as well lock it down. I'm always changing my setup, so my memory locks move all the time. But that'll help it stay consistent. All right, so we got a good height. Now, how to get these symbols up? Because if you hit them right now, see, it's still, you know, not really doing anything. We're getting a sound, but we can't control that sound. And the thing about hi-hats is they're really expressive. We can get so many cool different sounds out of them that by tightening up right here, and I, do, I just do this with my foot. I just press it down a little bit and find a comfortable height. Tighten the clutch. I'll play them with my foot. Say that's too low. You want, you want a bigger sound or you just want like your hi-hats open a little more. Press down a little bit more. See how much more they go up? I like mine pretty low, so I'm just controlling this with my foot. See, and I can, you know, I can splash them. And now you're going to be able to, you know, create a lot of those cool sounds that you, you hear in your favorite songs, you know. All that being controlled with my foot. So, pretty cool. Let's toss up a couple more cymbals and uh, get this kit finished up.